It's been nine months since we moved into this 10,000 square foot warehouse and we've learned so much. So in this video, I'd love to share with you 10 warehouse upgrades that we have implemented in here in 2021. This is gonna be an amazing video for you if you are an online e-commerce seller, an Amazon seller, you wanted to just get started or you're building your business to the next level. We're gonna share with you lots of amazing insights to what we've been building over the last few months. So let's go do this right now. The first warehouse upgrade has been the introduction of electronic quality control systems. I'm super excited about this one because it's something that I've been working on intensively over the last sort of five years, since 2016, when we moved into our first warehouse. A part of shipping our products, quality control is super important. And as the, the evolution of our systems have developed, we've been really thinking and innovating how we can continue to introduce technology to help us at scale. And one of the things that we've done is actually introduce what we call our electronic, and it's very smart actually, um, our quality control systems. And how this basically works is when our inbound products come into the warehouse, we check everything in, we quality control everything, we count everything, we make sure everything's there. And then it goes off into our, um, our team in the warehouse, in the office, where they are able to create shipments. And in the process of creating shipments, due to our uh, processing systems through all the different stages from the creation of shipments to picking, to processing, to actually, when you get to this station right here, this is our quality control. And what happens is all shipments, they go from the office, from our team in there, they shoot over to here, and all our, our quality control team members are able to actually now have everything that they're expecting on their screen on each of the laptops on all these stations they're able to actually see what's expected in in the tray system that we developed and this is a, an amazing introduction because what this allows us to do it allows us to the team are able to be on the computer they can make sure that the products are correct the uh, whatever we need to do in terms of you know, the, the labeling's correct, the bubble bagging, the, the bagging, the taping, the bundling, whatever's required, we're able to, act, the, the team are able to actually have the screens in front of them. They're able to get the items out of the trays. They're able to inspect them. They're able to make sure absolutely everything's perfect. And then the beauty of this, they're able to feed back on, on the computers what goes back to our command center and, um, we're able to actually print out our quality controls. Everything's electronic. Everything is, is, we've got conditional formatting. What this allows us to do is introduce amazing things such as um, real-time performance. It allows us to see what we're shipping, how many we're shipping, what each of our streams are able to, uh, what speed that they're shipping at, what the rate is. And this is a fantastic sort of upgrade that we have introduced and continuing to evolve, which is super, super exciting. So we're able to see whether I'm here or not, whether our management team, we can see what's happening on each of the streams. The team here can actually inspect products, able to click onto Amazon, they're able to pick products up, inspect them. And then when the time does come to actually do the boxing, we've got weighing scales, we're able to confirm absolutely everything is correct. And we're able to put items correctly into our um, a part of the quality control. And then what ends up happening, as soon as we've the, the team have done this, they've boxed everything, whether it's ready for a pallet or whether it's just a normal package shipment, it goes then shoots back over as the shipment's complete and then our shipment completion team are able to actually get everything completed, get all the labels printed out, and then it will shoot off with, with UPS or whatever other courier we may be using in terms of, let's say, it's a shipping a pallet. And that's been a fantastic introduction, which ultimately ends up leading us. And this is where all our upgrades are, are heading. We're thinking about what is our ultimate vision here? What is it that we're trying to do? And long term, we're going to be able to introduce so many, so many amazing things from this, such as uh, our own internal barcoding systems, our own internal custom-made software, 
our own internal being able to scan things and check things up on screen. It's been a fantastic introduction. This is just the start. So uh, that was the first upgrade that we've done in 2021. The second warehouse upgrade that we've done is the introduction of our racking. Now, over the last few years, we have worked from our 2,000 square foot warehouse, and then we moved into this 10,000 square foot warehouse. And over these last few months, we've rapidly continued to evolve all the systems that we have. But one of them is the space that we've got the space that we're utilizing, being able to maximize the space that we have. And through the introduction of working with some fantastic brands, through our exclusive brand deals, all our partners, we have to maximize absolutely everything. And um, one of the things that we wanted to do is actually introduce the racking, because this can lead on to some amazing things, such as the introduction of our internal warehouse infantry management system, allows us to start introducing and working towards barcode scanning, being able to have software that we can notify ourselves or our exclusive brands on when we are shipping products, whether it's pallets, whether it's individual custom orders around the, the UK. Um, and this is super, super exciting because one, we first, we never had this potential in a smaller warehouse because it was, you know, 2000 square foot. And, and two, now this allows us to expand so much in terms of um, utilizing the height that we've now got and the, the potential to actually um, in, increase the, 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 the surface area, increase the, the capacity that we actually have here. And um, ultimately what this will allow us to end up working towards is moving into our exclusive brand deals and everything that we're doing on, on here is it allows us to start working towards the the build of a or moving into another warehouse and um, splitting up our operations and it's just a it's just a, a really great upgrade that allows you to work more efficiently so this has been racking it's been a, a great introduction that we've that we've made it's really allowed us to be more organized and and not having um, obviously, we've still got lots of pallets, especially when you're working with some big international brands. But from a team point of view, from an organization point of view, we're able to put out you know, the layouts of the warehouse, what pallets in what area, uh, where's the location. So when we do pick, pack, we're, when we do go to actually ship our products, it's super efficient and um, we're able just to keep expanding on that. So that was the warehouse upgrade number two. Upgrade number three has been the introduction of our brand new internal infantry master sheets, the upgraded version. And what this allows us to do is whenever we're dealing with all, all these products at scale, we need to know what the status is of all our products, whether that is expected inbound, whether that is once they are inbound in terms of logging in, quality control, when it comes to actually creating shipments, picking, processing, and as we've just explained from a, a shipment outbound, what we've done is we've done a real amazing upgrade where every single item that comes into the warehouse is tracked fully from an infantry status point of view, from an order status point of view, from an overview metrics point of view, whereabouts, what, what units are in each of the stages, what's maybe been the impact in terms of delays, and, and there's really that introduction of more technology and using the, the smart technology to innovate our systems. What it's allowed us to do is, is complement electronics to see overview of what's happening as well as then all our CCTV too. So one of the things that we shared um, about sort of six to nine months ago was we introduced brand new CCTV from, if for example, we ship any items, and uh, for whatever reason, there's any type of question on quality control, we're able to work internally. The team are able to work, um, our management team, our team leaders, our um, actual team members are able to go back in history. We're able to click on any particular quality control. We're able to actually see what's happening with any of the items back in history, which is really, really 
it's very very useful and um, it's it allows us to control these 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 operations at a better scale so um, this has been a, an ongoing project over the last few months uh, we rolled this out we've had some fantastic feedback and I highly recommend that um, whatever you are end up using in terms of your own internal inventory management systems it's so so important to, to see the status throughout all the stages so that was the upgrade for number three Warehouse upgrade number four has been the introduction of semi-automated infantry movement. So thinking about what we're wanting to do long term and the, our ultimate visions is to introduce like automation through, you know, some very smart systems being able to, you know, introduce conveyor belts, everything automated until we get there. What we wanted to do is introduce more and more semi-automation, and that is through the tools and the equipment that we use. And that's why we introduce these amazing sort of containers. And what ends up happening is the team are able to, you know, process products extremely quickly using, and we've got so many of these now that are just sort of flying around the warehouse. And this is fantastic from, you know what we do here is is a is a big process and it's a lot of products to move everything's sort of manual and we we as a as a as a business you know we've got a mission to ultimately continue to innovate and continue to systemize and get better over time and by doing this and starting to brainstorm different ideas in terms of how can we move products from a to b as quickly as possible it's amazing the great height we're able to move them very, very easily. They're all on rollers. Container, actually, the the actual um, the space within the size of them, are able to fit some great um, uh, individual products. Lots of different orders. We're able to um, obviously these are more individual orders. If we've got pallets, obviously we've got pallet trucks. We're able. We've got roller cages. And this is a part of our efficiency improvements, our productivity improvements. So these were uh, really, really great. Um, uh, the team have absolutely loved them. It's had such a great impact and able to, to process much, so, so much quicker at scale than we've ever done before. And um, this has been a, a fantastic upgrade and it potentially be an idea for you. So that was the fourth warehouse upgrade. Warehouse upgrade number five has been the introduction of boosted sourcing lists. This has been a fantastic thing that we've always tried to do, and that is continue to build our business in a way, in a strategic way, that creates flywheels for growth. And that is really from our entire warehouse, from all the way from the inbound to the outbound, we're an online, we're an e-commerce business, right? We are, we sell physical products, which means that the more we can think about, okay, how can we boost growth? How can we support not just build our own business, but our partners, our, our clients, our inner circle members, everything that we do in terms of our relationships to suppliers, how can we continue to innovate and think differently in terms of becoming and supporting that growth okay so one of the things that we did was introduce boosted sourcing lists and this went from um, all our uh, different uh, programs and packages and things we went from sort of one list to two lists or two lists to four lists and this really allows us to evolve not just from a, um, a list point of view but also start the introduction of our wholesale lists and the working with our suppliers and working with our vendors and being able to introduce great partnerships with not just our partners but from our suppliers to partners etc so this has been really well received it's continuing to to be a great uh, process that we're working on behind the scenes with all the teamwork that we're doing the hiring that we're doing the the brand new business development um, side of the business that we're introducing and we've got some great team members that have have come and supported us in that and that has been really when you um when we thought about it and we started to plan this it really allows us to continue to to produce the growth in a flywheel effect to give more introduction to different products profitable products support at another level a, a much deeper level so we're not just helping our partners and ourselves ship we're also helping in other areas of the business, which has been a fantastic upgrade that we made in 2021. 
Warehouse upgrade number six has been the introduction of an evolved and more advanced business and operations management system. Super excited about this because over the last few years, as I've always tried to share, is we want to systemize our businesses because systems, building systems, allow us to reach the, the, the at scale, whatever goal that you ultimately have. What is your ultimate goal? And for us, we've always had a, a really ambitious, we're motivated, we're driven, we're passionate to achieve our goals. And then we've been, I've been doing a lot of exploring from my engineering days and, and I love systems. So I've read so many books from, you know, Work the System to EMA 3 Visited to writing my own book, The Perfect System, to more recently a book called Traction, which was such a great book that introduced us to the EOS system. So by learning from different um, different resources from the audio books I've listened to, the books that I've read, the training programs that I've gone through, really introduced an amazing brand new evolved system, which is like an EOS system, which allows us as a, as a business to really share what our vision is and how everybody fits in and what their roles and responsibilities are. Everything from the vision to the people, to the data, the issues, to the actually gaining traction, having meetings, the processes, documenting the process and how we work. And everybody then has a, a number, a KPI, everybody has their own teams, everybody has their own micromanaging tasks. And it, this, this really allows us to evolve to that next level and fundamentally in, increase the, the evolution, the maturity of our business, which has been super effective. It's been super useful. It's been a really great thing for us to develop our new you know, HR systems, our recruitment policies, our contracts, our appraisals to what our targets are. And then everything coming together from all the electronics, the um, the quality control systems, our inbound systems, it really allows us to, to work at that next evolu evolved status. So, you know, in your business, wherever you are right now, start thinking about what systems do I need to develop? What is it that I need to do? And, you know, I've shared lots of great videos in the past of, um, and if you haven't subscribed at this point, please do consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button if you have got to this point. I uh, would really appreciate it. I've got some great videos here that shares lots of systems building. And um, yeah, so let's get on to the next warehouse up upgrade. The next warehouse upgrade has been the introduction of our business development managers. And I'm super excited to um, and share this one with you because when it comes to you developing your business and growing your business to the next level, um, for me, I've always had a firm belief that it doesn't matter what sort of tools and softwares and, and everything that we have an amazing access to today, and there's some fantastic tools and softwares that we use every day, but ultimately and fundamentally, it comes down to, in my belief, the systems that you create and the people that you attract. And one of the things that we focused on is the introduction of our business development managers, which allows us to have more team members building the business, getting more work done every day, the leverage that we have to the, the mission that we've got. And our business development managers uh, right now, who uh, the first one, great guy called Mitch who actually sits there, he is somebody that you'll be on the phone with if, if you ever reach out to us, schedule a, a strategy call. If it's somebody who you, you, if we need, you know, if you want any of our help, if you want us to support you or give us a, a direct phone call to our warehouse, you'll be speaking to Mitch and within his team. And um, our business development managers allows us to evolve to that next level in terms of um, looking at our systems, looking at what we do in terms of our partners and our operations, and then it allows us to start planning the, the next evolution of what's the next strategy plan, where is it that we're heading, what is it that we're doing, and it's a, a fantastic thing for you potentially to consider in your business in introducing a, 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 a role or an area of the business from a business development point of view. And this sort of goes hand in hand with, we have some amazing, a part of our team, the way we've built it has been the, you know, virtual assistants, 
using our virtual assistant teams from you know the Philippines, from India, different parts of the world using some great skill sets that are available to us. But as we've matured, us personally, we've also tried to think about, okay, we want to start attracting some amazing talent locally. And if we can have that talent come in locally too, and, and in the warehouse, the same area, it also allows us to get closer in terms of literally we're in the, the same room with one another. So it's a, it's a fantastic thing for you potentially to consider looking at working in your business development. And what I'm super excited about is it allows us now over the next few months to start actually creating some great plans for our existing partners then the amazing the partners and uh, exclusive brands that we're actually working with and our suppliers that we're working with, but also for you if you currently don't do any work with us and you maybe want to reach out to for our support, then we also have that ability to do that because um, you know over the years I've been complete amazingly sort of grateful and um, I've, I've absolutely loved it. But there's only ultimately so much that I personally can do. And that's why over the years I've, I've had some amazing people that I've had the chance to work with personally. And now we're able to roll that out and, and, and hopefully support at a much bigger scale. So uh, the introduction of business development has been amazing. Warehouse upgrade number eight has been the introduction of our growth and maintenance support. And what that is, is it allows us to look at our businesses from an e-commerce point of view. When you think of the, um, the major systems in an e-commerce business, from your sourcing to your purchasing systems to your shipping systems, but alongside that, you've also got your maintenance and growth systems. Everything from the, uh, the health of your account to the KPIs across what's happening from your replenishing, your infantry health, as well as like your systems in terms of your repricing, etc. So what we've done, and we've been doing this for um, a, a short period of time now, for our initially for our sort of inner circle members, as well as then um, it's rolling out to our platinum partners, and and for what we ultimately do is gives us the potential to actually go into the business and have access to what's currently happening, what's the status right now in in the business and we generate reports then to see okay this is where what the performance is right now these are some of the things that you may need to consider from a an account health from an amazon point of view you're the the voice of the customer what's happening in terms of your infantry in stock what's running out and really being able to to develop and, and get more evolved systems in our replenishing in our infantry health and this has been a fantastic thing that we've now rolled out to being able to support other um, our, our partners. And that's that's where it goes hand in hand with our business development managers and ultimately our support teams. Um, so this has been fantastic. Um, it also allows us to uh, continue helping from a what we call a suspension defense point of view because we want to protect the security of all our accounts and everything that we do and we've done some amazing sort of videos over the the years where we've done case studies on suspensions and what the root cause of that uh, action plans so we developed a great checklist that is everything to do with you know suspension prevention and then suspension reaction so if something does happen then we have the ability to support um, if needed support personally know what sort of what's happened how it's happened and we've also got prevention systems to start with and fortunately up until this time we've we've never had any problems whatsoever which has always been a positive but it's it's great there from a a, a business maintenance and, and growth support just to see if because one of the things that i've absolutely always believed is kpis allow us to anticipate the future and if if you keep developing your systems in terms of like what KPIs, what's your business performing like right now, you can actually start to see, okay, if I continue down this road, this is going to happen or this is going to happen. And that allows us from a, a warehouse point of view, from a business point of view, from a, an, an, an e-commerce point of view to, to strategically and safely keep building towards the future while evolving our system. So that's been a fantastic upgrade that we made. 
Warehouse upgrade number nine has been the introduction of our finances, HR and support department. And this is something that we are um, currently right now really working heavily on because as I've said already, it's about people and it's about being able to attract talent and it's about being able to uh, see where you want your business to go and then build the structure of your business so you know, okay, these tasks need to be done from a growth and maintenance point of view. I've spoken a lot about different growth and maintenance tasks and then um, bringing in team members through the interview process, the application process, the onboarding, the training, the integration with our team and putting in some fantastic uh, processes from a, a, a finance point of view, from an accounting point of view, from an in-house uh, HR team, our support team and really allowing us to, to sort of go to that next level because your team uh, is, is everything and being able to um, get them the best out of people and being able to get them in the, you know, the right people in the right roles, that's when they're going to be enthusiastic, that's when they're going to be you know, passionate, that's when they're going to be creative, they're going to use their innovation, they're going to be able to share their own gifts and their own talents. So it's been something that has definitely been um, needed. Everything in the warehouse from you know, the processing, the tools and all that is, is really important. You know, the racking, the streams, the trays and, and everything's so important. But the backroom, the support that you have around your business, it's what makes the complete business. And it's what makes the, the business not just from, you know, the, 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 the side of the business, which is operations, sourcing, purchasing, shipping. That's all very, very necessary. But as we know, in business, it's also to do with your accounting, your HR, to do with your support, to do with your interactions and communication with suppliers, your relationship build, and all that becomes super, super important, especially as you start to evolve. So that has been warehouse upgrade number nine, and it's continuing to keep being upgraded. And finally, our warehouse upgrade number 10 in 2021 has been the rebrand of our entire operation and everything that we're trying to do and that is to go to systemize. And systemize in terms of what we try to do here, we really started to think about what it is that we stand for as of from a business point of view, not just the warehouse, but the team, the operations, the goals. And a part of that is having an identity in your business and defining what that identity is. And I've always said, and I've always uh, tried to share with you is take massive action absolutely every day, which is absolutely an identity. But from a professional point of view, it's also to do with, you know, systemizing our operations. So that's why we've, we're now going from systemized e-commerce, where we're su supporting um, and helping our partners and you build your business, but also from a systemized fulfillment, being able to help our brands and partners, as well as all the way to what we call now the, the systemized inner circle, being able to, for, for me, to put as many sort of help and support around uh, the, our friends and our partners and, and those that we build some fantastic relationships with to continue building this warehouse here. So I'm super excited over the next few uh, weeks and months ahead, we're going to be doing, we've got lots of great new signage on, um, on order. We're gonna get lots of things fitted. We've got a brand new uh, website URLs and emails. Um, so if you are interested in, in checking us out, just go to systemizedfulfillment.co.uk for the UK or systemizedfulfillment.com for the US because a part of our bigger vision is to build a, a network of warehouses and support at scale. We've been able to ship like you know, hundreds of thousands of products and uh, we keep learning. We, we keep learning from our mistakes we learn from our the issues that we, we've experienced and we continue to optimize and innovate and, and keep moving forward on what we ultimately truly, truly believe. And that is that the future is online. E-commerce is a big part of our future. Amazon FBA, building your own brand, whether that's through Shopify, being able to um, it, it, you know sell direct to con consumer, 
and, and not just doing some from an FBA point of view, but from a, an FBM point of view or actually shipping from your own website point of view. And I really do strong, strongly believe that that is where the, the sort of future is. So um, if you have enjoyed this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Please give it a big thumbs up. If you've got any questions whatsoever, you know, don't hesitate to either let us know down below, give us a call directly, speak to uh, the team, our business development manager, Mitch, more than happy to help you out in, in anything that you need. We've got lots of great content on this channel. We've got lots of tutorials, walk arounds, done lots of tours, done lots of, uh, and, you know, lots of great things that you may want to consider subscribing for. And I really, really look forward to uh, seeing you again in the future as we continue to help you achieve your goals. So take care, keep taking massive action, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.